We have our daily operations discipline coordinator, and that's as I mentioned before, Mr. Colin Harris. So again, he is going to do a lot of the daily discipline welfare. Students that are late, students that are absent, uniform is correct. We're actually going to be communicating systematically all the different policies that we reviewed to ensure that we operate in the entire attendance, punctuality, appearance, and pride in our school. We're putting the systems in place to follow up on all of that. It's already, it's effective immediately, and we'll communicate all of that to you in time. And he does a lot of administrative support as well for the head of teaching and learning, maintaining the, 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 the facilities, and anything to do with these issues. These are the issues that this person, that Mr. Carl has, these are the issues that you're referring to. Anything to do with careers counseling, DC coordination, well-being, welfare, academic side of it as well, and that's Mr. Our two heads of school, so our, our heads of the secondary school, we've got the head of teaching and learning. Once again, everything to do with Jewish with general studies, the staffing, professional development, differentiation, parental communication information. I tried to sum up an enormous role. When I actually presented to the staff, I think I had 15 little points in each section, but I tried to condense it into a sentence just so that I can actually explain the role in the brief. Any general studies, teaching and learning concerns, after speaking to the teacher, the subject would be in that area, or if there are obviously bigger concerns, going to the teaching. Anything to differentiation obviously will come. This person will work very, very closely with our differentiation, with our uh, educational support coordinator, um, again, that head of teaching. Anyway. On, the, on the Jewish study side, just a little bit of cut off over here. Involve 
a self-assessment and a number of other superiors. Um, the, the, the actual leadership of the school, the senior management team that I'm going to present to you shortly, will also be reviewed by the committee of management. And these models that I've presented here today are up for review in 12 months' time. We'll tweak them in about six months, so about half a semester of them functioning, just to make sure that they're functioning smooth and not holes in and, and things that, or that aren't functioning well. And after 12 months, I will revisit and we'll shift direction slightly if we need to. So this entire model is up for professional review. Teachers themselves will be up for review. It won't be on an annual basis, it will be a biannual or triannual basis. And that will be as a process together with their subject committees, together with the head of Jewish studies, or the head of teaching and learning. This hierarchy lends for professional review. And that professional review is going to be built into the system. Okay. Are there any questions on the secondary model, particularly about the secondary model? Once again, I'm stressing the educational support, differentiation, the extension side will be done by the teachers, the subject committee, and the head of teaching and learning. The educational support is not, doesn't appear in this model. We're auditing all of our needs, all of the, uh, uh, the product that we're actually offering, and we're streamlining the entire system. And that will be communicated to you in, in time. As well, the informal Jewish studies, I'm going to refer to a second. That's the informal Jewish studies. And I'm actually going to refer to that totally in a, in a separate stream. I'm going to dedicate a, a separate uh, new topic to that. This is very, very important. And I'm also going to dedicate a new topic to the Jewish studies development of the leadership. At present, there's approximately 160. Mm -hmm. So the ratio, I suppose, of people to your students is more than teachers to students, professional staff to the public. So the, the ratio, so you've got eight positions here. Yes. Would that mean children plus the teachers? Yes. Is the ratio of how many sort of professional staff to your students? I, I think, I understand your question. I think this is very important. You're the meanest of two period allowance, so two of two of twenty-seven. Um, subject communities have a one to two or three period allowance, depending on the size of the subjects. The day of operations and discipline coordinator spends the majority of their time teaching, and so does the VC coordinator. Head of teaching and learning and head of two studies will both be teaching with a much more minimized fraction. And principal and head of campus will both be teaching, and that's a very, very important part of it. So Yes, we do have, I, I take quite a large number of, uh, this is actually a number of people here, communities will be one per class, subject communities will be one per subject area. These are middle management, these are senior management, and these are again across the entire school. So I'd say one, two, three, four of the middle, middle and senior management positions relate predominantly to the secondary school, or only to the secondary school. Um, these are more of the junior, junior uh, leadership. Oops. Apologies. Um, of the school. And uh, we've looked at it very, very carefully, and particularly some of the educational consultants, in light of other schools' models. If our school was considerably larger, again, I think we'd have, we'd break it up slightly differently in terms of student well being, in terms of, we, we'd actually break it up differently. And one of the reasons why we went down the path of combining the head of Jewish studies and head of student well being and development is because as we go into the high school, the issues that the students face and the complexities of the desires within families and interests in different pathways. We need to have intimate knowledge and understanding of our hashkoka, of our community, of our families and our children. And that's why we've actually gone down the path of combining that role together with the head of Jewish studies and the student learning. And that's, that's why we've done that. And this person has a very strong team with his year conveners, with his school counselors, with his discipline coordinator. Very, very strong team to manage, to implement, and to develop. Were there any other, sorry, I left that one again, you can go back. Were there any other questions on the secondary management model? Sorry, I don't want to talk. Is there a representation of the role for the management? I'm going to discuss it, you know, not, not in this form necessarily. Senior management. Now, this is a very, very important body, and I'll explain why. These are the two heads of, heads of the campus wide positions. The head of primary school and uh, general and Jewish studies, and the head of teaching and learning and head of Jewish studies and student well being development in the secondary school. These six people make the leadership of the leadership team of the school. They meet on a weekly basis, quite an extensive meeting. There's a prearranged agenda, 
Um, we look at PEM squad issues, student issues, staff issues, and quite a number of other proactive things within the campus, and obviously dealing with different problems and issues that arise. And that's the senior management team guiding and directing the entire school. Very cohesive team, the synergy that's been created is, is very significant and enormous. And uh, uh, each person is empowered in their area to make the decisions that they need to do, and as a whole, to move the school forward collaboratively. Jewish Studies Curriculum Project is something that I need to address a little bit. I've walked around a lot of the classrooms, particularly the Jewish Studies classrooms in the primary school over the last few weeks. I've been in, uh, walked and walked through the secondary school quite a number of classes. We've got unbelievable things going on in the Jewish Studies area of our school. The one thing that we need to work on and develop is a proper P12 curriculum. We do have a curriculum, we do have a syllabus but one that's very much skills-based, that can track individual student learning and development. So we can set benchmarks. So your six students, when they finish the primary school, these are all the elements that we must achieve, work backwards, make sure that we're achieving the maximum, be it in Korea, in Hebrew, in Chumash, in Rashi, in Mishnah, in Gemara, and as we work through all of the advanced skills of cities, in the participants, etc. I've done a very thorough audit looking at the talent that we have on staff come to the conclusion that we've got quite a lot of uh, curricular talent on staff in all the different areas that I've just mentioned. And we're looking to develop that capacity and train our staff even more in the area of curriculum development so we can create curriculum teams and work a Chumash team, a Chumash Rashi team, a Gemara team, and a Gemara group with the coordinators of each area of that curriculum. And we've chosen to go in-house rather than outsource and look at either the Menachem Foundation in America or Ireland or other sources that are outsourced curriculum. And the benefits of an in-house curriculum is obviously it's more context appropriate, it meets the needs of the Shiva College in our community, and it facilitates it being a far more dynamic curriculum that can change along with our student body and along with modern pedagogy systems that are things that are out there. I myself will be quite involved in the curriculum project as we implement effective structures in the primary school and secondary school. I intend to dedicate quite a bit of my time to developing this curricular project. And it's a medium term project over a number of years. We'll be focusing on different year levels and different skills areas, but this is, a, this is a major exciting project that we're developing. This is also something new that I wanted to share with the community. And we are, as is the Shen, in a matter of a series of weeks, going to be having a director, probably many people don't know, a director of informal Jewish studies, which is actually a Chabad youth position, and it's a Chabad youth and Yeshiva college partnership. This person will manage all informal educational offerings or extracurricular offerings throughout the entire school. This person is going to manage all the school children, the Shabbatani, the Malthus, the Rebbeans, the the all of the Shia model programs, the things that the children actually implement in the school, their initiatives to organize, to coordinate, tissue programs, etc. So that's going to, and this person obviously is going to work very, very closely with the different heads of Jewish studies to enhance the Jewish life. And this person, as the Shem is going to be coming out of a series of weeks, working with the Bad Youth, and his name is Rabbi Lipsker. We're very excited to be having him, and it's, for, it's going to enhance the entire Jewish picture within our school, and ensure that it's coordinated, well organized, and both throughout the primary and the secondary school. And that brings me straight to my next slide, which is the Jewish Studies Leadership Structure. The first three positions, the principal, head of Jewish Studies in secondary, head of Jewish Studies in primary, obviously will be involved as a team looking at the Jewish, formal Jewish Studies Education Principle, and together with the fourth position, the Director of Formal, running all of the five programs uh, of 